Hi, this is Jay Fleming. I'm the senior developer with Leia Media and the author of IntelliWidget per page featured posts and menus. In this video, we're going to talk about the basic ways to use IntelliWidget and just a general overview of the features. So, what I have here is a little demo site that uses the WordPress.org test data suite and it comes pre populated with some basic pages and menus and things like that to test with. So we're going to go over to the widgets admin. So you can see 2012 comes with a couple of widget areas already set up. So just drag and tell widget up into this main sidebar. And you'll see the basic control panel consists of four tabs, a general settings tab, post selection, appearance, and additional text and HTML, which we'll go over in detail a little later. General settings would be things that apply to all widgets. You have the telewidget type. There's three different types, post, nav menu, and taxonomy menu. We're just going to deal with the posts default right now. And then you have your section title, where you can put the title that appears above the widget. So we're going to say my first telewidget. Just leave unique ID and classes alone for now. Uh, you have the option to link the title or hide the title. Uh, we're going to leave that alone too. The next tab is the post selection tab, and this tab is where you decide which posts or pages appear in the widget. We're going to use the excerpts template, which is a more standard featured post layout. Uh, the next option is the post types that you want to choose from, uh, defaults to post and page. If you have additional post types, they would appear here as well. Uh, the next two areas are select menus that let you choose specific posts that you want to have appear or you can choose by taxonomy, a category or tag. If you have additional taxonomies, they would appear here as well. Uh, the taxonomies that appear are the ones that are related to the post types that are selected. So we're gonna choose this markup category. And then you have some other toggles that uh, let you further customize the behavior of the widget. The next tab is the appearance tab. Start with the way it sorts. We're gonna choose sort by title, ascending, the number of posts, we're going to leave that at 5. Max words per post, let's change that. Let's increase it to 35. And then you can choose how you want the image to appear. We're going to choose thumbnail as the size, and we're going to say align left. And this last tab is additional text in HTML, which lets you enter raw text or HTML like you would with a text widget. So let's save what we have here and go back to our demo here. And you'll see it creates a sidebar, the title, my first Intelli widget, and then five posts from the markup category. Uh, you can also see one of these has a featured image, which appears floated left next to the excerpt. Okay, so that's great. Uh, featured posts, nothing really new here. There's a lot of plugins that can do this. So what's so special about Intelli widget? Well, let's go back and let's actually customize that widget for a specific post. So let's go into our pages. Let's customize the appearance of the sample page. So what you see on your page edit and your post edit now is that you have this meta box down here that says IntelliWidget Profiles. So by default, it doesn't have any profiles. You can add a new profile, and it'll appear with the control panel that looks just like the control panel in the widget settings. They're tabbed, so if you have more than one, they would appear as tabs across the top. So we're just going to do one right now. This parent profile to replace corresponds to the IntelliWidgets that you have in your widget setup. So your options are to have it unassigned, which means it doesn't do anything, short code and post content, which I'll go over in a minute, and then main sidebar one, which would be the sidebar area that we customized earlier. So let's just select that. And what that tells it is wherever you have this main sidebar, replace it with this profile. We're going to leave everything pretty much the defaults, but we're going to, down here in this additional text HTML, we're going to say this text only, no posts, which means ignore the post selection completely and just display this text. So we're going to say, hello, world, I am a page-specific widget, And then save that. So Remember, this is the sample page. So if we go back to our demo and refresh, okay, all the pages are going to go with the original setup that we have in our widget settings. But if we go to sample page, now we have it with a custom widget. 
that contains the text that we put in that texture. And you can specify any of the parameters that you want, just like the main widget. Um, let's change this back to none so it doesn't show the text. And let's do a post selection where we want to have specific posts. So we're going to choose five specific posts here. And it's going to just, it's going to use the mini template instead of the excerpts template. So it'll basically create a menu of five links. So let's go back to our demo. And you'll see that on the main page we have the same sidebar content that we have, but on our sample page that we had customized, now it's going to load a menu of five links. And these are the specific posts that we had selected in that post selection tab. The last thing I want to show you is how to use the short code. So going back to our sample page text underneath where it says, or something like this, we're going to say Intel widget section equals one. What that tells it is to use an Intel widget in this replace the short code with it and use the first profile, the number one profile. So whatever the settings you have in, under this first tab are going to be applied to the short code that appears here. Let's go up here where it says parent profile to replace. And let's just change that to short code and post content. What that means is don't replace the main widget, only use the short code. So let's update that and then go back to our sample page and refresh. So it will use the default widget that we set up here in the sidebar, but it will use the custom shortcode widget here in the content. So hopefully that gives you gets you started with IntelliWidget. In the other videos, we'll go into more detail about what all the different settings do. If you have any questions, go to our website, ulayamedia.com, and click the contact form, contact us. You can fill out the form or you can email solutions at laleamedia.com and we look forward to hearing from you and thanks for watching.